Are they great songs for Christmas? I love G that gently Mary laid her child. What a great song. Just a few announcements I'd like to share with you this morning. Our growth groups are now in recess until February next year. If you'd like to be part of a growth group, then please let me know. Currently, they are there is one weekly group on a Thursday afternoon. There is a, a Wednesday fortnightly group at 7 p.m. And then on the opposite fortnight, another Wednesday group that meets at 4 p.m. If those times don't suit you and you'd like to be part of a group, please let me know. If we can get the leaders and have the time to do it and the numbers, we'd love to do it. So again, if you'd like to be part of a growth group next year, please let me know. This is the last week that uh, we'll be opening the church up three times a week specifically for prayer. Monday, 4 till 5 p.m. Thursday, 7 till 8 a.m. in the morning for the early birds. And then Friday, 2 till 3 p.m. So this week is the last week of that as we lead into Christmas. So if you'd like to come along, we'd love for you to do that. Um, if you can't make it, why not use one of those times to be praying, knowing that others are also praying with you at the time. A very big thank you for last week and the week before. So two weeks ago, we had um, Tishan Johnson here from Cherish Life, um, which was fantastic. She shared a great message. And the church, you know, our congregation gave $200, sorry, $210 towards the ministry of Cherish Life and an extra 200 that the church added to that. So $410. And Titian has said that'll be used in the local area and Gympie area as they set up Lifehouse up there um, for pregnant mums to give them counselling that includes all options, not just things like abortion. Also, then last week we had Reverend David Collins here from Wesleyan World Missions and we had our Self-Denial Sunday. I have a huge thank you to say. And uh, on behalf of David too, he gave $1,630. That's a whole other off weekly offering as well as our normal weekly offering, which is around that amount too. Can I just say thank you uh, for your amazing generosity. So thank you again just for being the church. Morning tea for those who are coming back to church at some point, uh, if you are able, is now out on the other side of the kitchen, the patio side, if you would like to be involved in that. And we do need some volunteers just for serving that, just two each week, and for helping with some pack-up. Also, our church Christmas barbecue is happening next Sunday, December the 20th, after the church service. So even if you're away from church at the moment, but intending to be there and would like to bring something, please let us know. We, would, we need to know that ASAP. This week so we can work out what else needs to be uh, brought but we thank you for those who are already volunteering for that so that's going to be a great afternoon to be after the service we have some games and some fun and sing some carols eat some great food together and basically sharing great fellowship before Christmas and as I've been saying every week if you have a testimony of some sort to share about what God has been doing in your life We'd love to know. Please either write to me by email, letter, ring me on the phone. Whatever it is is the easiest way. Please, please let me know so we can include it. Maybe you've got someone around you who's great with technology, not like me, who can send me a video maybe somehow, and we can include that. Love to include that in our service. But right now, let's pray for our offering. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you that by you all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible. You warned us, Lord, not to store up treasures here on earth, where moths eat them and rust destroys them, where thieves break in and steal, but to store up treasures in heaven. Lord, we ask that you guard our hearts, and may we, in bringing our tithes and offerings to you now, store up treasure in your kingdom. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, Guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In your powerful name we pray. Amen. Just one quick notice that I forgot to let you know. If you've been trying to contact me via the church office phone, it has been out of action for over a week now. 
Uh, we thought it was our issue, it's an NBN issue, and hopefully that will be rectified this coming week as they come on Monday. Just so if you really do need to contact me, please do so via my, my mobile. All right, let's continue to worship, shall we? We're going to sing that great song, While Shepherds Watched Their Flocks by Night. 